Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing and I'm out here today in a very, very drained marsh. I'm not too sure what I was thinking, but I wanted to come out and see if I hook into a red or two. But thanks for coming back. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please push that subscribe and push that notification button. Let you know the next time I upload, I upload a video. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for viewing, thanks for coming back. Wish me luck and hopefully you catch me hooking up. <clears throat> a lot of times on these bins, it's a little water's a little deeper. Really need to find deeper water. It's gonna, <laughs> was not expecting it to be this shallow back here today. Not at all. And well, you know, there's a lot of different places you can go fish a lot of different places you can scout and fish and well for me I wanted to come back in the marsh I've never really fished based on tide level um, not too much I mean a lot of times I'll look at a place and, and go from there but I wanted to come see what this was gonna look like and how I wasn't a fish during some of these low tides now the water did get warmer so the water's sitting about 63 degrees do you have a bin right here and you also have a drain so i'm just kind of surprised we don't have somebody hanging around here a drain and a bend and water drop that's what i like to call a hot zone there's a few hot zones right here Well, I'm not seeing really any real activity as far as reds go. Saw a few, couple big wakes, maybe a couple big, oh, that was a thump. That was a thump. There we go. Found you. Oh, a little red. See? It made sense for there to be a fish here. Even if a little guy. Even if it is a little guy. He's almost big. He's still small though. Look at that guy. Nice little guy. Got him with that voodoo shed. He chumped on it. There we go. No harm, no foul. Nice little guy here. I'll let you make it, buddy. Thanks for playing. Skunk out of the boat. All right, I'm gonna be testing out this H2O Express metal by Academy. It is paired up with the Ethos rod. Nice 6.6 six rod, some nice action on it. So we're gonna, we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna try to put a nice fish on here. Hopefully I get a nice red on here. Kind of working out. I like the way cast it is cast smooth it real smooth it is budget friendly i really like this rod <clears throat> i mean sorry i really like this reel i like the rod too but i really like this reel this had this rod already I had it paired up with the with the ethos bait cast and now i have it paired up with this meta m3 oops kind of banging around we are shallow again no more drive Kind of hard to see with this GoPro, but those spoon pills are my favorite birds. There they go. Beautiful guys. Those are my favorite aquatic birds. Just, just so majestic, you know. They look so, so beautiful and elegant. And I missed the fish. I was recording them and I missed the fish right in front of me. But it's okay. Let's see. The birds took off kind of fast in a hurry. Get out of my face. Hope they didn't scare anybody over here. God. Shallow. Very shallow. I'm going to be in all kind of trouble trying to get out of here, I think. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a better one. Uh, that's a better fish. Uh, 
Don't go in my drive. Uh, oh, that's why. He got foul hooked. He's foul hooked. Let's get you off, buddy. Let's get you off. As I said, man, that thing's pulling like heck, but he didn't, um... Doesn't look very big. But a foul hook would do that. A foul hook would do that. There we go. And he's a... He's thick. Thick little guy. Really liking this net. I really am liking it. With these mambo mullets and voodoo shads. Just is such an easy, easy way to fish. Especially targeting reds. These are easily been become some of my favorite lures to fish when I am targeting reds. I just, just a straight retrieve, that's all. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You know, you could twitch it every once in a while, but really I'm just swimming it straight back to myself. It has the body and the design. See, has a bend and a drain right here. But it has a body and the design for that perfect water movement. I'll show you what I mean. Get off my face. So yeah, that black chartreuse tail has a nice vertical line. Nice chartreuse eyes and that hook. I don't know who makes their hooks or where they get their hooks from, but those things that's something to hit it. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna take a little second to get it off, man. It's God, get out of my ball. If they do latch on, golly. <laughs> oh my god, he scared the crap out of me. That was a good red. Man, he scared the crap out of me. Man, you see me jump? Dang, that was funny. There's one. There we go. Another little guy. Uh, a little nursery today so far, but I'm not complaining. Oh man, I'm not complaining at all, buddy. I enjoy catching y'all, big or little. Uh, there we go. Oh, three spots on one side, one on the other. Cute, good little guy. We'll see you again. It looks like pants my lure. I literally had to dig a hole next to my kayak and run my drive over it. So I'm able to pull my kayak, my drive out. Cause I ran aground with it and you can get out and lift your kayak up. It's easier with two people, but there's no way you can get out of this. Get out into this mud. It's just no way. Look at that, that's, isn't that green? That's, that's mud, it's come all the way up. My drive is just, just trashed. Golly. All right, so as you saw, it was a grind, and I know a lot of times during this time of year, I know it is really hit and miss with the weather and where to go. I have never attempted to fish in the marsh when the tide level is that low. I wanted to go and explore a little bit and see it for myself to see where I can or can't get out in that marsh system. Now, one of the good benefits about fishing during low 
tides is that you can really see what is under the surface you can really see and tell areas that where they drop off and areas that might be hiding some type of structure whether it's a rock a log or even oyster really helps you benefit you for next time when you go out there and under normal tide settings where you can target fish now the winds did pick up like i was afraid but they weren't as bad as i thought they were going to be there was a lot of spots where i had to pull my drive and i had to use the paddle and not that i'm not a big fan of paddling but you know paddling around and some of those heavier wider kayaks can make it a bit of a challenge especially when you're in skinny water and really narrow narrow channels like that but we, you know, I did make it through. It started to rain on me. I put the GoPro up. I missed a few more bites, but there wasn't there wasn't really much action after I started heading back. I did push push pretty far back, miles and miles back into the marsh, just trying to locate that school of reds, or really just see kind of really any real standout red activity. And I never found it. Uh, like I said, I did push back. I went as far as time would allow, so I had to turn back around and start heading back. And when I did hit back, I hit a, got a few more little bites, but that was it. It wasn't really much to the day. It was a slow day. The fish sometimes have lockjaw, and for whatever reason, they're really not biting. And sometimes they're just not there, or at least not the area that you're looking at. But I had a great day out there. It was a grind. I am tired. I'm a bit worn out, but I hope you appreciate the content. I try my best to put on some nice fish on the deck for you guys. Unfortunately, sometimes it just doesn't work out. And please, if you do like this, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.